Hey everyone, welcome back to One of Those Books, and today I'm going to be doing my January wrap-up. So in January, I read about seven books, which is great because I'm out of my book slump. Woo! So if you haven't noticed in the past few videos, I talk about how to get out of a book slump, which I will link right here. So if you didn't know, last year I was in a bit of a book slump near the end of the year, and so now I'm finally out of it, and I have read seven books this month. Now let's get to it. So the first book I read was a graphic novel, and that was In Real Life by Cory DeCow. This was a really great graphic novel. It was a quick read. It's about this young girl that is in high school and she's trying to fit in a little bit and this woman comes to her school and she talks about this RPG game or MMO and it's kind of like World of Warcraft. She gets into the game and she ends up like fighting all these guys and she's mixed with people who are farming to get paid for it and then she meets this guy who she tries to help out. It's just a really great read. It's really kid friendly and I would recommend it. I did talk about it a lot more in my graphic novel recommendation video, so I'll link that in the description below or you can see it on my channel from this week. So the second book I read was also another graphic novel and that was Lost at Sea by Brian O'Malley right here. And this was another great graphic novel. I also talked about it in my graphic novel book recommendations. And I would say this is a great um, coming out of age kind of graphic novel. It's about this girl who's 18 and she's just getting out of school and she goes on this road trip with a couple of friends that she knows from school but they're not really great friends and it's pretty much trying to figure out what's going on with her because they don't really say why she's even on this road trip with them. I mean I assumed in the beginning that it was because she was out of school but that's not exactly why and it's just a really great graphic novel that I think is great for coming out of age type of audiences. The third book I read was The Book of Ivy by Amy and Gell. Now this was a great book. I was pretty excited to pick this up. I got it in the ebook. Here's the cover. It's I don't know. I really like the cover. Some people say they don't really like it, but I think it's kind of cool. It could probably be done better. I like the minimalist kind of feel though, if you know what I mean. So this book was really great. I get five stars on my Goodreads. If you want to see a more in-depth review, I'll put that all of my reviews in the description that I read for this month. So this book is a type of dystopian world. It's about this girl named Ivy who is, she's come of age where it is time to marry someone from the opposite side of the town. So the town that she lives in was eventually ruled by um, her great grand, her great grandfather I believe or her grandfather they came to this town to get away from this type of dystopian world that was happening and the other family just ended up taking it over because they found the guns first and so it pretty much um, is that family's type of people and then her family's type of people and the guys from that type of family and the girls from this family every year get married at 16 I believe and so it was her time to get married. Since she is the granddaughter of the person from this side, she is marrying the grandson from this side. And so it's pretty big and it's like, he's gonna become the president one day and she's gonna be the wife's president. And so it's pretty much their story of after they get married and what's going on. But the kicker is that Ivy wants to kill this grandson. And so it's pretty much um, her story of going to kill him and it's, really great. I really like the ending. I can't wait for the second book that's going to come out hopefully this year, but I feel like it's next year. I'm not completely sure about that. I would recommend to pick this up because I think it's a great read. I mean, it's not like the most amazing book out there, but I think it's great for what it is. So the fourth book I read this month was Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins. So this book was talked about on booktube so much when it first came out. Everyone was reading it. They really liked it. I personally really liked it also, but it was a slow liking. So this book is about a girl, Harper, and she is this kind of very popular girl. She's the president of pretty much everything, and in, when the first chapter comes out, it's about her winning Homecoming Queen. So Harper pretty much annoyed me for about half of the book because she was very uh, full of herself, sort of, and she was very perky, and I don't really like that type of character that much, and she, I mean, it was pretty much a, I wouldn't say coming of age book, but she get, becomes herself by the end of the book, I believe, and she learns a lot about the things that are going on inside the entire book. So this book, it isn't, it's kind of a paranormal book, which I didn't really expect that much, but it isn't explained very well on what's actually happening. So um, in the first chapter, Harper is be about to become homecoming queen and she goes in the bathroom because she forgot her lipstick mm -hmm. and so she starts putting on the lipstick and the janitor pops in and he's like dying and he's like Aah! 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 
and he ends up taking her and kissing her and like this essence flows out of him and into her and so the essence that comes out of him is pretty much the power that she was going to become. So I gave this book about a 4 out of 5 stars. I'm really excited for the next one that comes out this year so look forward to that. So the fifth book I read was Afterworlds by Scott Westerfield. Now I have a love-hate relationship with Scott Westerfield. I tried to read the ugly books like when I was 10 and it was really hard and I never finished even the first book but I had all five and so I was pretty apprehensive of picking up Afterworlds but it was a very big book and I heard a lot about it when it first came out but the sad, the sad thing was that I never heard anything about it after it came out and that I never saw really any reviews and so it is a very big book is pretty much exactly 600 pages and it's very heavy and I didn't like carrying it places but I only brought it to work about once and I finished it at work so that is something. So Afterworld is pretty much two books in one. The first one is about Darcy. She is the author of Afterworlds and Afterworlds is the actual story that Darcy wrote and so the entire time it's like I'm, it's not a dual perspective but it's dual chapters and so the first chapter will be about Darcy and the next chapter will be about that about Afterworlds and so I really enjoyed both stories. I was pretty much mostly intrigued in Afterworlds until the end that I was really more intrigued with Darcy. So I think Scott Westerfield actually really did it well and I gave his book five out of five stars because I loved it and I'm pretty sure this is a standalone. Don't quote me on that because I'm really bad at that. And, but I'm pretty sure it is a standalone, but it was really good and I would recommend picking it up if you would like that also a different kind of perspective of a type of book and because it was just really great. So the next book I read was The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. This book is a type of dystopian high fantasy book and it is really good. It is very complicated. It, I believe this is an adult book and so that is why it's pretty complicated. I'm not sure if it's completely adult though. I do see some type of young adult aspects of it. Say it's a more complicated and more adult book to the Throne of Glass series that I really enjoyed last year. And I would recommend picking it up. I gave it about four out of five stars. It's about this girl that is clairvoyant. In this world, clairvoyants are pretty much illegal. And so she pretty much is breaking the law just by living. And so it's about her getting caught and going to clairvoyant prison. She's pretty much a slave to this warden. And so it's their story about her growing and becoming a higher clairvoyant. And it's just a really great book. I recommend picking it up. I'm currently reading the second book, The Mime Order, and I will tell you how it is next month. So the last book I was given was a book for review, and that is Bummed Out City by Scott Burr. So I was kind of apprehensive of picking this book. It's something that I wouldn't really pick up myself. Um, it's about this writer who's pretty much in a slump, can't get his book published, and it's just like him in life hating it. And I didn't like it really at all. It was very boring and slow and the main character was very unlikable. I didn't like him at all throughout the entire book and I just felt like he had no character development because he was pretty much the same throughout the entire book except for the last chapter where you see a tiny tiny bit of character development which I think is pretty bad for a book because you want to see some character development and you want to see your character grow but if you don't see your character grow till at least halfway into the book then you don't really want to read about him and you don't want to cheer him on because pretty much the entire book is about this guy named David and he is in a slump. He can't get his book published. He's really writing for this kind of crappy blog that he's doing and he's not getting paid well. He argues with his girlfriend all the time and it's just, I don't know, I wouldn't recommend picking this up mostly because it's not what I enjoyed. I know some people did enjoy it but I feel like the people that are watching my channel and read the books that I also enjoy would not enjoy this so I would not really recommend it to anyone unless you think that you would like that type of story and that type of plot but it didn't have much of a plot and so yeah. So that's it for my January wrap up. I hope you enjoyed it and let me know if you read any of these books also and if you liked them please leave a comment and also if you want please recommend some books you want me to read in February because the only book I have right now on my TBR is The Mime Order and that's pretty much all at the moment. So let me know and I will see you guys later. Bye!